Now let's consider one example of double integral where region is given to us, limits are not available. So limit is to be first calculated and as per the given region, R is the bounded by X axis, line X is equals to 1 and X is equals to Y. When this kind of situation is there and we want to find the value of this integral, so the first foremost task would be to draw the rough sketch so that we can read the limit. I'm first plotting is y equals x axis means y equals to 0. So this is y equals to 0, right? And the next line is y is equals to x I want to plot. So y is equals to x is a line passing through origin and it exactly at the center of first quadrant and third quadrant. So here it is y equals to I would say y equals to x or x is equals to y. This is the line, right? Now one more line is, that line is x is equals to 1. So I have plotted this one. I have plotted this one. One more line is there. So when I plot this line, this is x is equals to 1. So let me consider that x. So this is x is equals to 1. Now after drawing the diagram, we got that this is the boundary which is or you can say this is a region bounded by these three lines. The point of intersection are easily clear that this is the x, y, x axis and x is equals to y. So it is 0, 0 is this point, right? And this point is also one corner of the region where x is 1 and y is 0. So I can write this as a 1, 0. This is the point of intersection of x is equals to y, this line, and x is equals to 1. So if you plug in x here 1, you get y also 1, so 1, 1. So that are not very complicated calculation. It can be easily seen from the diagram and we can label it. Now this first task is done. Now the next task is to evaluate and for that we need to read first limit from the diagram. I have uh, decided to discuss both the cases in this question. and. Uh, what I want, if all of you should uh, figure out that how we can read so that whenever evaluation is to be done, you can take your decision to go in any side. So first, I am going to take a limit in the direction of x first. So for that, what we need? There are various ways to read the limits. Like I am taking one, uh, one line over here or you can say you can make a stripe. I, I prefer to make an arrow because here... I get an idea that from where I have to start and where I will end. So the first task is that what I have decided, I'll go in the x side. So just draw a stripe or an arrow in the that direction to get an idea and ensure that when I will move in this region in the direction of x from where the starting is. Since it is a non-rectangle region, you must be observing. So obviously the variable limit will come. Why? Because the relation between x and y are available and we can read the value. So here the starting means I'm what I'm observing when I move in this direction, what is happening? Every time the region is started from x equals to y. So the first limit I have gotten, what is the limit? That x equals to from the left side. So x equals to what? x is equals to what is the value of y? x is equals to y is the limit. And uh, what is the upper limit? Because when you are moving in this region, so starting is from x is equals to y and end up with every time in this region is from in this line. And from here I will read again x value. So x is equals to 1. So x is equals to 1 is the upper limit. And the evaluation is to be done of x square plus y square. This is the function. So first decision was made for x. So first integration is to be done with respect to x keeping y constant and then with respect to y. Now here the second limit is always a constant. Why? Because when you cover the region in this manner, so what is the minimum and maximum value within which you calculate? So the minimum value we can read from here of uh, y is this 0. So the y value is 0 and the maximum value is you can see from here the maximum value is 1. So that's why we label the diagram. So this way we can integrate the current question with respect to x and then with respect to y. So that is the non not only way. There is one more procedure. What is that? Let me let me find out the second process. In the second process, I'll, I'll go in the direction of 
uh, egg y so let me first remove this lines this horizontal lines and let's see what happened in the other case in the other case um, i am taking the horizontal uh, vertical line so for that i always prefer to make an arrow in the upper side it means i get one idea that if i want to go in the y side which vertically if i want to move first so every time the starting is every time the starting is from in this region from where it is started every time the starting of this region is y equals to 0 so i got the first limit and what is that first limit that y equals to what y equals to 0 is the boundary this boundary and when i move in this direction vertically in the y so what is happening every time the top is this line the slanted line so from here read the y value what is the value of y equals to y equals to is x so that becomes my upper limit now this integration is to be done with respect to y of x square plus y square and from y equals to 0 to y is equals to x so once integration is done you have to perform the integration with respect to x now for x i'll do the same activity i'll go in this two bands that what is the minimum value of x here so this is the zero zero point so obviously in this diagram the minimum value of x is zero so x is equals to zero is the minimum value and what is the maximum value in this diagram of x so from here one comma one comma zero and one comma one is giving me an idea that maximum value of x is one so what is the important point you should remember that while doing the evaluation or if limits are not given and you have to read limit on your own the first limit is between the curves and the second limit is between the points now let me complete this evaluation part since uh, my motive was to discuss the both cases with you to make the concept clear but i have to evaluate so what i am going to do is i'll i'll evaluate by this uh, I'll, I'll solve the question by this particular region I, I'm, I'm going to use the second case so in that case x is equals to 0 to 1 is constant and integration is for with respect to y so x square is constant so integration of x square is x square times y plus integration of y square is y cube by 3 and the limit of integration is y equals to 0 to x and dx is on hold and then x is equals to 0 next step is plug in in the value when you put a y equals to this here you have to put the values so when you put y equals to 0 here uh, y is equals to x here so y is equals to x so x square into x become x cube this is the upper limit now here when you put replace x y by x it again you get a x cube by 3 that is the upper limit lower limit is 0 because in the both cases you get 0 and dx so after simplification what i'll get i have a like powers so before solving for x let me simplify it so when you simplify you get a 4 times x cube by 3 and this is to be done with respect to x now 4 by 3 constant what is the integration of x cube x cube is x 4 by 4 and that is from 0 to 1 this 4 4 will get cancelled i have a 1 by 3 integration of x 4 from 0 to 1 so 1 by 3 is constant and integration of this is 1 minus 0 so answer comes out to be 1 by 3 i hope you have understood let us see some more example in the next lectures thank you